Corn is not only a starchy food but also a good source of various essential nutrients, dietary fiber, and antioxidants. However, only 21% of the total corn production is used for human food consumption, and the usual method of corn preparation, such as boiling, does not maximize its nutritional benefits. In 2019, the Department of Agriculture Bureau of Agricultural Research funded this project entitled Development of Nixtamalized Philippine Corn for Food, Health, and Nutrition, which aimed to improve the nutritional quality of two locally available corn through nixtamalization the IPD Bar 6 and Lagkidan Corn. The project team is headed by Dr. Clarissa B. Winico, Assistant Professor Arvind Paul P. Tuanyo, and Dr. Lizelle M. Atienza. The goal of study 1 was to determine the nutritional and functional properties of nixtamalized corn varieties through nutritional profile and in vitro mineral availability analysis, aflatoxin assays, and cooking optimization. Study 2 developed high-value food products and recipes utilizing nixtamalized corn varieties through recipe trials. The project was able to develop three high-value and commonly consumed food products, two rice nixtamalized corn grits blends, and 13 household recipes standardized containing nixtamalized corn flour. Lastly, study 3 determined the in vitro lipid lowering potentials of nixtamalized corn varieties, using pancreatic lipase and cholesterol micellar solubility. Results showed that nixtamalized corn and corn products, in crude and hydrolyzed forms, have the potential to lower blood lipid, in vitro. The sensory evaluation revealed sensory qualities that are comparable with their original counterpart, but their nutritional value was superior as seen by their improved proximate and mineral content, and contribution to daily nutritional needs. According to the results, a shorter cooking and steeping time can produce acceptable levels of protein, fat, and amylose. What about the cost? In order for the nixtamalization process to be viable and profitable, the product should be sold at a price of at least 78 pesos per kilogram, with a minimum production volume of 38 kilos per day. Overall, the project was able to maximize the nutritional benefits of the two Philippine corn varieties through the process of ecological nixtamalization. The process should be shared with local government units or possible technology adapters who can produce the nixtamalized corn products in a larger scale, hence, providing a healthier alternative for the Filipino consumers. Motivated by these purpose, and the support of the Municipal Nutrition Action Officer, and Barangay Nutrition Scholar, a technology transfer and adoption event in the municipality of Los Baños Laguna, was held last April 26, 2022. Ms. Alforja, in her opening remarks, highlighted the importance of corn in the diet of Filipinos. While the graduate fellows, who were mentored by the project, gave a talk on the background of nixtamalization, its effects, and process. One of the most exciting parts was the taste testing, where the products were tasted and enjoyed by the participants, while watching the nixtamalized recipe videos. At the end of the program, Dr. Clarissa B. Winico and Ms. Madeline Alforta signed an agreement stating that the Los Banos Municipal Nutrition Action Office shall support the relevant outputs or technologies of the said project, geared towards improving the nutrition and health of the target beneficiaries, households, and communities here in Los Banos, Laguna.